CEO of company behind AI chatbot ChatGPT says the worst case scenario for artificial intelligence is lights out for all of us. Oof, doom and gloom, ladies and gentlemen. Those type of statements that Elon used to make regarding AI. Uh -huh. Now he's up in on it, and he's absolutely correct. <laughs> Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, which made ChatGPT, thinks the best case scenario for artificial intelligence is unbelievably good, but fears the worst case is lights out for all of mankind. That's very... <sighs> you want to talk about polar opposites, it's it's either... Actually, we're going to thrive alongside uh, singularity, uh, complete integration. It'd be great. Everybody does what they want all the time. Flip side... Lights out, ladies and gentlemen. You choose. ChatGPT has been making the rounds online. Yeah, I don't need to tell you guys. You guys are up on this stuff, so you're quite aware. In recent interview, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, company behind ChatGPT, uh, was asked best and worst case scenarios. Here's the full quote. I think the best case is so unbelievably good that unbelievably good that it's hard for me to even imagine i can sort of imagine what it's like when we have just like unbelievable abundance he put that like in there by the way and systems that can help us resolve deadlocks and improve all aspects of reality and let us all live our best lives but i can't quite i think the good case is just so unbelievably good that you sound like a really crazy person to start talking about it okay that is an strange vague strange yeah, and ambiguous. vague response what it's is like this you mean? have the potential to be amazingly good or the potential to be really, really bad. But the way he's describing good is as if some good that we have never imagined, experienced, and can uh -huh. perceive. Which for me... They were hoping so, like He was hoping someone would build it. I appreciate something. the optimism here, but I think when the consequences are potentially dire, then it's just a little more information. Like... I'm, I've sat here and explained this thing to people in, in real life, and I'm saying, well, here's the implications in, in for this and for that and for that. But I think we can all imagine a, a situation where we're leaving, we're starting to, to make critical decisions based on AI analysis, where we just say, hey, humanity here, what should we do in this case? Mm. We're, we're, we're kind of at a stalemate. Mm. What should we do in this case? And all of a sudden, someone's asking AI what... They should do what Russia and Ukraine should do. Mm. And the whole world's like, well, the AI said it. It knows better than us. Mm. And so here we go. Uh, I guess that's the way it has to be. And they're like, guys, are we certain that the AI is like, mm. that there's no influence, manipulation, that there's no uh, alternative agenda? And this is us whispering in the other room yeah. in the episode of or in the movie 2001, we're whispering in the other room, but they got the super hearing, and then they, they realize we're conspiring, and then, well, you know how that goes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And Good. here's the bad case scenario. Here's the other side, the other quote. I think it's important to say the bad case is like lights out for all of us. I'm more worried about an accidental misuse case in the short term. So I think it's like impossible to overstate the importance of AI safety and alignment work. I would like to see much, much more happening. He's talking about regulation. How about that? That is such a terrifying word, alignment. Yeah. Um, it looks like our AI overlords are out of alignment. Uh. Let me get in there and make sure they're aligned. Align, alignment, alignment with us, alignment with our well-being, alignment with our future, alignment... With the data set, alignment with morality, alignment, complexity, good lordy. I would say that uh, good on him. He's honest. It's like, yeah, like the program that I built can be actually very terrible for humans. So there's that. Listen, you have to. If you're being, if you expect people to take you seriously and you expect to raise all this money, you can't be out there just spitting sunshine and rainbows because we uh -huh. all know we would we would turn off after that. We'd be like, okay, that's not possible. Mm -hmm. So we need to know like both sides guy, of it. Yeah, exactly. He he he's the best person to be putting out both sides of the story in order uh -huh. to remain believable at all, right? Mm-hmm.